On FIFA 23, generic position changes are no more. Players now have secondary positions. Right mids can become left mids. Left mids can become center forwards and fullbacks can become wide players. So in today's video, we're gonna be putting that to good use and we're gonna be building a team that is 100% players playing in their special secondary positions. Let's get into it. So here we are, we are on FIFA 23. We have got a crap load of honorable mentions down on the bench, but more about them later. There is icons, there is heroes, there is cool FIFA cards. We'll come on to them at the end. Before we do that, we are gonna build a team of people 100% in a secondary position. This is very exciting. Gone are the generic position change cards where you can take someone right mid, right wing, right forward, striker, centre forward, cam, centre mid, CDM, left back, left wing back. No, that's gone. No more. There is one type of position change card in FIFA 23 and it's just a blanket bog standard position modifier. I can show it to you guys. I'll give you a little sneak peek on Marquinhos here. If we go to the position section, there is just one, one single type it is called position modifier, and when you apply it to any player, you can choose alternate positions for them. Some of them have more than one alternate position, but we'll come on to that as we start building our squad. There's a whole range, and it's all based on real life football, which is really cool. So it's not every left wing will be able to become a center forward. It's dependent on the player. Not every cam will be able to become a striker. Not every fullback will be able to become a center back, but some of them will, and it depends how they play and where they play in real life. So let's jump in with our first one, which is, as we've just shown, some fullbacks can become wide players like Guerrero, but others can become center backs. All of this can be checked and seen and viewed in their player details section. You can see Hernandez is currently a left back, but he's going to be going in at center back for us. And if we go and apply a position change to him, it will ask us if we want to make him a left wing back or a center back. So some of them have more than one center back. It is please. There we go. We've got ourselves a center back Hernandez. Now, the reason this is important is because chemistry in FIFA 23 is actually very, very confusing. And I'm going to use Marquinhos as an example for you guys. In previous FIFAs, if you had a CDM at centre mid, they'd be able to still get chemistry because CDM and centre mid is basically the same thing, not on FIFA 23. If a player is not in their absolutely perfect position, they get an exclamation mark underneath their card and they don't get any chemistry. The good thing about FIFA 23 is that a player on no chemistry just plays with their base normal stats. A player with more chemistry will get stat boosts as they go up. So Hernandez currently still only has zero stars. As we get in more chemistry, his stats stats will get boosted. Marquinhos's will not because he, even though he's a CDM and he's playing at centre mid, has to be perfect. Has to be the exact same. The same goes for like St. Maximum. Left mid and left wing, not the same this year. It has to be a left winger to get Ken. But more on St. Maximum and Silas and Ronaldinho and Campos and Henri and all of them later. I just wanted to show that to you guys. This is why it's so important because the stat boosts are there for chemistry, but you have to be in perfect position to get them. So let's jump in and let's do an absolutely huge one. We are going at center attacking mid for a Brazilian left wing. It is Neymar in FIFA 23. At least in this version, I should reiterate to you guys that we are playing on the beta. This is subject to change. The gameplay can change, the tuning, the player ratings, of course, are not final. And I'm sure player positions might get tweaked a little bit as well. But these, I think, are coming from historical data as they've always been in FIFA. So, you know, they're probably going to be like this, but shh. Neymar in FIFA 23 is a left wing who can be played when you go to a position change, of course, at left mid, because left mid, left wing. Stay true though, that's not the same for all of them, but you can also be played cam. And that is where we're gonna be putting Neymar in today's video. At right wing, we are going for a left wing. So not the most controversial, but a very exciting one, I think, for people's squad building and for being able to put different players into teams. You can move quite a lot of them over to the side. Now, I should, I should note that this isn't, like I've said, the same for every single player. Mane, for example, can only be played left mid or left wing. However, Raheem Sterling can be played left mid, left wing or right wing. So that is exactly who we are going to be putting into our team today. And we will convert him to a right winger. That's not the most revolutionary one. He's still a winger, but it's fun for squads. And our left wing is huge. Stay tuned for that to see who that is going to be. Let's jump down to our right back and put a very good player who's very renowned for being very, very versatile. We are going to go for a CDM. I'm sure you can all guess who it is. Not Casemiro, who doesn't have any alternate positions at all. He can't even play centre mid. He's a centre defensive mid, and that is it. We are going for Kimmich, the CDM or right back. So in he goes as a CDM and a right back 
he becomes. Our left back one is also not the most groundbreaking, not the most hidden secret position change you could possibly get. It's a right back who can also play left back. He's one of the best fullbacks in the world. It is, of course, Jao Cancelo. One interesting thing about Cancelo that I'd be interested to check when the full game comes out, and for players like Zinchenko as well. Yes, he can be a right back. Yes, he can be a right wing back. Yes, he can be a left back, which is what we're going to make him. Very interested to see when the full game comes out. Is he going to be able to be a centre mid? Left back to centre mid is a very interesting one. And I feel like Zinchenko might get that for Arsenal as well. And some of the jazzy ones, which I kind of struggled to find positions for, like I said, it'd be very easy to just put Marquinhos in here and get a perfect link and loads of chemistry for Neymar, but he doesn't get any chemistry himself. And when you've got an exclamation mark on you, your chemistry doesn't count for the squad, for other people. You're just not a part of it at all. So we had to find people who were other positions and became centre mids. And this was a lot more tricky than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Yeah, we could have changed our formation with a CDM in it, but like I've, like I've said before, you have to be in specific positions. So if we went to 4 one 2 one 2 the right wings would become right mids. Raheem Sterling can't be a right mid. He can be a left mid and a left wing because left wing is his position out of packs, but he can only be changed over to a right wing. So you've got to be careful with your position changes and the pairs, the, A, I wanted to use Sterling and B, the guy we've got at left wing can't become a left mid because he's not a left wing by default. It's, it's confusing, essentially, which means we had to go for centre mids instead of CDMs, and it means we had to find some. I did get there in the end. This guy actually had a card on FIFA 22 as a centre mid. It's Thomas Lamar. He had a team of the season moment as a centre mid. He can be a left mid, a left wing, a right mid, or, for us, a centre mid. And I want to say I was struggling to find centre mids. Players that aren't centre mids by default that can be changed to centre mids. The struggle was real. Like, there's so many generic ones, I guess, that I could have done that you could do on old FIFAs that I didn't want to go for. Like, if you wanted the calm, you could use the Bruyne. It's not really a very good position change. I could have gone for Hoiberg, for example. He's a CDM. He can be moved to centre mid. It's a little bit boring. I wanted a position for someone where they couldn't have been this in previous FIFAs. And it took a lot of searching. A lot of searching. And finally, I did manage to find a second one, but it's a little bit stinky. Stuart Armstrong. He's a right mid, a right wing, or a centre mid. So in our team, alongside Neymar, alongside ridiculous other good players, we've got a centre mid, Stuart Armstrong. He fights for the badge, no matter what position he is. James Milner, actually. Speaking of fighting for the badge, that is just giving me a very good thought. Do you reckon you make James Milner any position in the entire game? Centre mid and both fullbacks. Interesting. This man can play right back. He could play right wing, he could play cam, he could play CDM, he'd probably play goal if you want him to, but he's got he's got three. Three very very ones, I have to say. Very varied indeed. Centre mid, left back, and right back. The Jao Cancelo of FIFA. Anyway, we're not using Milner today. I'll stop teasing you guys. Our left wing is gonna be none other. That informed Killian Mbappe. He can be a striker, he can be a centre forward. We are playing him as a left wing in this squad. What a card. What an interesting just way to be able to build your team. You can play a 4-3-3-4 in FIFA 23. Get Mbappe left wing. Get Neymar in it, Cam. Get someone else in it, right wing. And because you can link players across the pitch, you could put Erling Haaland up front and then play Ruben Diaz and Laporte at centre-back, which is crazy. So that is very, very exciting. Obviously, you're going to need a lot of coins to be able to do with that. But Mbappe at left wing. And there's some very jazzy options for linking them all together down on the bench. Like I said, we'll come on to that shortly. Let's get the last few players in. I can. We could have had one of the honourable mentions down on the bench, which I'll show you. St. Maximan's a striker. Very interesting. Silas is a striker left mid or right mid. Very interesting. We are going for another little bit of a FIFA sweat. It's another French player. He gives a little bit of chemistry to our other players. It's none other than Nabal Fekir. Cam, right mid, striker. Lots of options for him. I do wonder as well, when people get informs, are their informs going to be more restricted to the position that they play in? This Mbappe would suggest no, but of course this is the beta and things are subject to change. So I'm very intrigued to see about that going forward. Perhaps if Cancelo did play centre mid and got an inform, maybe his inform card would be able to be centre mid or CDM, whereas his normal card can be left back or right back. That would be very, very exciting. Our final centre back is going to be a German centre mid. He also had a special card in this position on FIFA 22. It is none other than Emre Chan. He is going into the squad. And then finally, once we've made Emre Chan a centre back, we do need a goalie. You guys might be thinking Kyle Walker. You might be thinking Rio Ferdinand. But... Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, not even Manuel Neuer has got an alternative position as a goalie. No, you can't play Neuer CDM. And you might be thinking, I've seen a camp boss down on the bench, Andy. What about him? He used to actually play outfield in real life. 
not currently. Maybe when the full game comes out, they'll have added an alternate position because this guy's got like ridiculously good in-game stats for an outfield player. I'm sure you guys have seen it. But as far as I could find, so there's not a single goalkeeper on a FIFA 23 beta that can play in a different position other than in goal. And there's not any outfield players that have got an alternative position of in goal either. That remains to be seen. Let's take you guys through some of the honorable mentions, some of them that I'm very intrigued to see. I've just gone through and just showed you guys Silas and St. Maxman. Silas can play on both sides and up front. St. Maxman can play on the left in both positions and up front. Icons are where this is very interesting. Again, like with the informs, are they going to be more restricted? Because icons, Ronaldinho is prime as a left wing, but his mid card is a cam. However, this seems to suggest that you can play both of them in whatever position you want. Again, the question goes, will the one that starts as a camp be able to be played centre mid instead and have a bit more leeway there, whereas it will only be able to play left wing, whereas this one can also play left mid and you've got to get the positions absolutely perfectly. Something to think about. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the others. Maldini, centre back and left back, presumably on all of his cards. Carlos Alberto, the one with 90 pace, can now play centre back, the right back one. That is crazy. We've got Zanetti, right back, left back and centre mid. You could call him the Argentinian James Milner. We've got Henri, who can play striker, centre forward and left wing. Campos, unfortunately, doesn't seem to be able to be played outfield. Matthias, again, players getting their icon positions from across all of their different icons, seemingly on one card. Freddy Lundberg is a right mid and a left mid now, which is pretty cool. And Laurent Blanc has got perhaps the craziest one of all, as he does with his icon cards, centre back and Cam. So there we are. That is our full team of position changes. I'm going to get these icon and hero concepts off my bench, and we're going to jump into a game and try them out. Just before we do jump in, actually, I want to reiterate to you guys how crazy the new chemistry system can be and how fun it's going to be for building different squads. Too many, for example, you might think, oh, he's going to be a really good starter centre back. He's six foot two. He's got high defensive work rates, but he doesn't have a secondary position at centre back. That's absolutely fine, and you can just take him and play him centre back regardless, and he won't get any negative stat punishment from having that exclamation mark he will still play with these stats in game yes he misses out on the boosts like this Mbappe has you can see he's got two chemistry so he's getting plus two to some of the stuff and depends what chemistry style you put on him depends where they all go but if I wanted to play Mbappe centre mid I could and he'd still just play with his normal stats that is mental let's get into the game okay our opponent has got a starter squad <laughs> This is going to be bullying, is what this is going to be. Let's dispatch of them quickly. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. All right, there's new super shots. Let's use one. Oh, what a finish. What a finish, Fekir. Go on, son, my striker. Is he called Colander? Isn't that what you strain your pasta with? Oh my god, what a header. Are you messing? I've mocked the colander. He's floated that in. And Tommy Abraham's banged it top bins with his head from 20 yards out. Bit of an exaggeration. Okay, 12 yards out. But still, bloody hell, what a header. It's nice to see you can actually score headers on this game, to be honest with you. Everyone has a 50p head on FIFA 22. Right, no more mercy. Come on, new fake shot. Cuts inside. Finesse is it. Thank you very much. Sorry, George, mate. That's my left wing. Inform Mbappe. Oh, I'm getting picked apart. Why have I got centre mids and full backs playing centre back? What am I doing? Oh, what a ball. Oh my god, the super shots are insane. <laughs> no way. That is insane. Oh my god, pick that out, George. Hello, new free kicks. What are we going for? A knuckle. Yes. Oh my god, I've absolutely wellied it. Oh, it's gone into oblivion. <laughs> oh my god, that's hard. <laughs> Just killed the man in Rosehead. Oh, we're, li we're splitting them apart. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful from Mbappe. We do have inform Mbappe. It is a little bit mean. Oh, what a ball. Go on, Sterling. Oh, he's getting angry. We'll take him inside. Oh, we'll skin him. We'll have a penalty. Go on, then. We're going bottom left. Oh, what a pen. Go on, Mbappe. You'll love to see it. Timed to perfection. He even went the right way and he couldn't save it. There we are then, 5-2. A slightly flattering scoreline, I think, <laughs> based on the teams at least. That guy was quite good. It was a good game. It was a lot closer than it should have been, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more beta content. Thank you to EA for letting me record some beta for you guys early, and I'll see you guys very soon for another video.